Let's try the mini softball foot treatment. This is a great way to introduce you to the compression techniques on your feet and also get your autopilot back on track to acquiring a connection to your center of gravity. I want you to put your feet side by side. Look down at your feet and try to line your feet up so that you know for sure they're side by side before you begin. I'm gonna teach you how to assess your autopilot by using your body sense here. So remember, to use body sense, we won't use our common sense of touch or vision. I want you to close your eyes and give yourself permission to go into your body and sense what you feel. Without moving your body left to right, notice if it feels like you've got more weight on your right foot or your left foot, or if you're noticing any region of your feet more weighted to the ground. Then scan up your legs and notice if you're clenching any muscles in your thighs or your butt cheeks or if your knees feel like they're locked out. If you can relax any of the muscles in your thighs and still remain standing, you've now recognized autopilot inefficiency using your body sense. You're sensing what it feels like when your autopilot is functioning really hard just to keep us standing. Imagine how hard it works when we go to move. Take a focused breath and open up your eyes. Remember what it felt like when your eyes were closed and let's try the compression techniques called position point pressing, gliding, shearing, rinsing, and friction. I'm gonna have you start on your right foot and I'll start on my left foot to mirror you to make it easier for you to follow along. Bring the ball under position point number one at the center of your foot. Once you have your foot there, I want you to begin to shift your body weight left and right. Remember, you can do this technique seated or standing. So if you have any trouble balancing right now, I want you to sit down and continue the treatment. Otherwise, as you shift your body weight, this is the only point where you'll ever compress repeatedly. And it's to introduce compression and make sure that you're going with tolerable pressure on the ball. If you feel any pain, that's your cue to ease back pressure not step harder. Once you find a spot, you can remain standing and comfortable on the ball. Let's help your autopilot reacquire its connection to your center of gravity by simply moving your joints around your body. Your autopilot functions like a GPS system and your joints are like satellites. So if you keep your feet stable and compressed on the ball, as you move your body around, your brain is starting to figure out where your joints are in relationship to the ground and your center of gravity or your pelvis. Come back up to a center position. Take a focused breath and let's try position point number five. You're gonna take your left foot and step backward. I want you to move the ball just a few inches back to position point number five. That's just in front of your heel. Create gentle compression and take a focused breath. Then step backward again, keep the ball in that same position, but equal your weight between the right and left foot so that you feel balanced. Let's try gliding. Keep the ball of your foot on the floor and slowly let your heel swagger left to right over the ball. I always say this move is kind of like doing the dance move, the twist. You're not doing the mashed potato so your toes aren't moving, just your heel sways left to right over the ball. Remember the secret of a glide is the consistency of your pressure. Once you feel like you can control your consistency, I slowly want you to move the ball all the way to the back of your heel. Then slowly bring the ball back to position point number five. Once you get the ball back to position point number five, let's try your shear. I want you to wiggle your foot. I say this is kind of like an Elvis move, like you're shaking your whole body. Keep your compression consistent in one small local region as you create that shear. Take a focused breath and then wait. Give the tissue a moment to adapt once you've stimulated the cells. Now let's rinse. Step backward, bring the ball to position point number two, and you're gonna rinse from your toe all the way to your heel. I want you to keep your pressure constant, but remember, rinsing is a one directional motion. Here, we're just bringing the movement from your toe to your heel. Watch how I step over the ball as I create the rinsing pass so that my other hip gets a break and I don't need to remain balanced on one leg to rinse. Let's try one more rinsing pass. And then let's try friction. Now friction does require balance. So see if you can balance on your left leg and lightly rub the ball underneath your right foot. Take a couple of nice focused breaths as you do this light motion. Remember, friction is a light vibrational motion. So keep the pressure very light, take a focused breath and then let it go. 
Bring your feet side by side and let's reassess to see if we've made some fluid exchange. Now you might notice that your foot feels different on the floor, but let's assess to see if the entire connective tissue system has responded to the foot treatment. Bring your arms along your side and again, close your eyes and use your body sense. Go into your body and sense what you feel. Instead of noticing your right foot, I want you to notice your legs. Draw your awareness to your left leg, the leg that we haven't melted. I want you to see if you can become aware of what it feels like when there's an absence of hydration in your joints. Notice if you're more aware of the joints of your hip, knee, and ankle on your left leg. Draw your awareness over to your right side. If your right leg feels more full and open, that's what it feels like when hydration is moving through the connective tissue systems. We've actually lubricated the joints so that they function more efficiently. Open your eyes. If you notice that change, you're telling me two things. One, you've got great body sense, and you're also saying that your connective tissue is hydrated enough for you to make an entire body change just from hydrating your feet. Let's try the other side so that you're not offset for the rest of the day. Bring the ball underneath the center of your left foot, and let's again begin with position point pressing by shifting our body weight left and right. This is the only point of your foot that you'll repeatedly step on, and you're doing this so that you can learn what tolerable pressure feels like before you learn any of the other techniques. So remember, as you bring your body weight onto the ball, if you feel pain, that's your cue to ease back pressure, not press harder. Find that place where you can comfortably stand on the ball without pain, and let's once again help our autopilot reacquire its connection through the body and get you more stable by just moving our joints around our center of gravity. It's such an easy way to help your autopilot reacquire its connection to your center of gravity. Come back up to a center point. Take a focused breath, take your right leg, and gently step backward. Let's bring the ball just a little further back in the foot to position point number five and try position point pressing again. Just create straight down compression and take a focused breath. On your exhale, decompress 50% of your body weight so you have balanced weight between your right and left foot, and let's try the glide. Remember, this is like doing the dance move, the twist. So just let your toes stay on the ground and gently swagger your heel from left to right over the ball with consistent pressure. Once you feel like you can control the ball from left to right, slowly work the ball all the way to the back of your heel. When you get to the back of the heel, work your way back to position point number five. When you get back to position point number five, tighten up the wiggle and create the shear. This is how you stimulate the cells of your connective tissue. Connective tissue cells are very reactive to local areas of tight compression. So here we can really create a local fluid exchange in the foot, and we're gonna bring that fluid up the body. Wait here for a moment. Remember, that's the secret of the shear. Once you stimulate the cells, compress the connective tissue so when we let it go, we get the fill effect. Now let's rinse. Bring the ball underneath the ball of your big toe and rinse from toe to heel. Watch how I step forward and back. I don't want you to be balancing on the other leg. I want you to keep your body in motion so that your hips don't get tired as you do this technique, especially if you're standing upright. Let's try two more rinsing passes. One more time. And now let's try friction. This one does require balance. Stand on your right foot and very lightly rub the bottom of your foot with the ball. Remember, friction is a way to stimulate not only the connective tissue system in the superficial layers, but also the lymphatic system to stimulate some nice natural blood flow. Take a focused breath and let's try friction on both sides two times. If you only had one minute a day to help yourself, this is the technique I would tell you to do. For 10 seconds, I would tell you to lightly do friction under one foot and then swap sides and repeat it on the other side. Go back and forth underneath your feet two times to at least give your body a little bit of hydration from day to day. It only takes 60 seconds, so everybody can do it, and you should. Take a nice focused breath and let's relax. Let's bring our feet side by side and let's reassess to see if we've acquired some natural hydration in the connective tissue and if we've acquired more balance. Bring your arms back to your side and close your eyes. Take a focused breath. I want you to notice if now your feet feel more grounded into the floor. Notice if you're not feeling any region of your foot. 
scan up your legs. Notice if before your legs felt like you were really clenching your thighs or butt cheeks or your knees were locked out, notice if your legs feel more relaxed in that upright position. Draw your awareness back down to your feet. If when you started you felt like one foot was sort of stepping in front of the other, notice if now your feet feel more grounded and balanced on the floor. Take a focused breath and open your eyes. If you're noticing any of those changes, you are already learning how to restore the fluid state of your connective tissue and help your autopilot reacquire its connection to your center of gravity. This is going to help all of the neurological mechanisms stay in balance. If you feel these changes, you know the next thing I'm going to tell you to do, right? You need to drink water. If you drink eight to 10 fluid ounces of water right after you do the foot treatment, you'll keep these changes all day and create lasting benefits for tomorrow. So make sure you drink eight to 10 fluid ounces of water right now. Good work.